Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Daily here and today we have a base set Pokemon booster pack and we are going to be continuing the series that we just started called Can You Profit? We're working title, you know, we, we, we're good progress title. We don't know exactly what we're going to call this thing. That was a little bit uh, a <laughs> clunky name. Either way, I wanted to go through every vintage Pokemon pack. Uh, and this has been a bucket list thing for me to do for a while. I wanted to open every pack of Pokemon cards that has ever been printed. Uh, it's going to take a really long time because you kind of got to save up for each one. Uh, but I recently, you know, uh, got paid and things like that. So I was like, all right. We're gonna do the first one, the base set pack here. I have actually opened up one base set pack in the past. These came out a little bit before my time. I was born in 98. Uh, so I mainly grew up on Diamond and Pearl and uh, EX Ruby Sapphire, stuff like that. So this was definitely a little bit before my time. But I have opened one of these. Back when these used to cost about 30 bucks uh, to purchase, I bought one because I wanted to have the experience to open it. And I thought 30 bucks was expensive back then. Looking back, I should have bought an entire booster box of these things because they are much more expensive now. Um, and sadly, I actually sold all of the cards I got in them. I did not get a holo, and that's really all I wanted to get. And so I resold uh, all of the cards pack fresh for like 10 bucks. So really sad. I think I, I did end up buying some holo with that 10 bucks, uh, Wizards of the Coast holo, but I was always happy to have that experience of opening up a base set pack. But today we're going to be doing it again and we're going to be evaluating how much money you can actually make or lose from opening up a sealed one of these. So let's get into it. Be sure to hit the like button if you did enjoy the video, subscribe if you have not already, and comment down below what do you think? Do you think you can profit or nah? Let's get into it. Okay, let's get into this, boys. I paid 500 for this pack, so we do have a lot uh, to make up for if we can. What we're looking for right now uh, is going to be starter Pokemon. That's that's going to be essential. Uh, and a holo would definitely be great. A holo would be absolutely fantastic, to be honest. Um, and uh, Pikachu. Getting a Pikachu would be cool. I think this does have the opportunity to potentially, potentially be um, shadowless, though I think it is uh, a bit more unlikely. I think uh, each regular base set pack does have the potential. All right, so we <laughs> already have a drowsy here. There we go. Yeah, these are not shadowless. That is okay, though. All right. Let's go one, two, three, and that should be our rare right there. Oh my god, my camera's about to run out of battery. Okay, one. <laughs> I know this is going to look sus, but I, I have to do it. The camera's running out of battery. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have charged the camera. I promise nothing fishy went on or anything like that. I know that's a whole thing in the Pokemon community, but whatever. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Got ourselves a Machoke to start off. That's pretty good. These are our uncommons, I believe. An Arcanine. That's a good hit. Well, for me personally, I think it's worth a little bit, but also, I just love Arcanine. All right. Last uncommon, Professor Oak. Uh, I don't think that's great. I mean, trainers are never great, but I don't know. Are you guaranteed one trainer for an uncommon? Not fully sure. There's that Drowsy again. Beautiful card. These are just so minty fresh. I love it. Oh, I haven't seen minty fresh base set cards like this in a very, very long time. Of course, I'm going to get all of these graded and then do a follow-up video on the grades we get. Probably going to use CGC for it, though. All right, let's see. Gust of Wind. Okay, another trainer. Yikes. Come on, one starter or a Pikachu. Abra. I do like Abra a lot, so I'm okay with that, you know. I, uh, I've always been a fan of the Alakazam line. Onyx, okay. Come on, one. Ponyta, okay. Come on. Oh, okay, and we're on to the energy. So we did not get a single um, uh, starter or Pikachu. That's okay, though. We're on to the energy, so there should be two. Yep, fire, or sorry, lightning and water, and the rare should be coming up. Now, 
I don't know if it's a hollow. Something makes me think it's probably not a hollow um, because most of these packs are weighed and this was uh, not weighed. So usually when it says not weighed, it means they're light packs. Um, but if it's not a hollow, what we really don't want is a trainer. If it's a trainer, that's bad, boys. That is bad. So we are looking for something non-trainer here. Oh... Yikes. That's about as bad as it can get right there. Okay, yeah, that's, um, that's pretty rough. <laughs> I think some of our uncommons and commons might be worth more than that. Um, looking at the cards, there's a little bit of whitening on the corners, but overall I would say these are pretty decent. Centering-wise, they look pretty good too. Um, I'm actually pretty content with that. So I am going to go ahead and sleeve all of these up real quick. Alright gamers, here we go. It started off well. I think the Arcanine and the Machoke are great pulls, especially the Arcanine. That is a dope pull. Um, Professor Oak's okay. I'd say the Drowsy is pretty mediocre. The Gust of Wind is pretty mediocre. I like the Abra a lot, personally. Onyx is mediocre to me. The Ponita is pretty great. The Energies and then the Computer Search. Uh, I guess Computer Search is okay because it's a rare, but the Energies aren't really worth much at all. So, I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a tight one. Um, the, these grades... Uh, Really, what we would need is all of them to be 10s, I think, to make the money back. Um, and getting CGC 10s is impossible. So realistic, we need we need all of them to be 9.5s and, um, and maybe 110 or something like that. But we will go and do the math and see what the recently sold of these are. And I will be back with you guys uh, at the computer in just a bit. And of course, we have the pack too. That's worth like probably 10 bucks, so uh, it's not the worst. I'm glad I uh, managed to cleanly pull it out there. So let's go ahead and I will see you guys at the computer and we'll see how much these cards are worth. Let's get it. All right, gamers, here we are at the analysis desk here. Um, and I have done out the pricing for this base set light pack that we have here. Um, and we ended up doing meh. <laughs> very sort of meh on it um essentially with the uh loose pricing it, it's a flop i mean um you know these are all minty cards and i was pretty conservative on my pricing here uh these are either you know the lower end of what i was seeing for the prices or uh you know if it was just very consistent it was that uh but with loose i mean we're taking hundreds of dollars of losses here so i'm, I'm clearly gonna get them graded because that's part of this not to mention um i want to have mint sets uh, or at least close to mint uh sets of um base set jungle fossil i'm a collector at heart and i love grading cards so this is more of a hobby than anything but Loose, this was pretty bad. Um, our canine here was actually the most expensive. Um, however, something I did discover that was pretty good about these cards uh, is actually that this is a rarer printing of base set uh, than I thought. This is actually the fourth print of base set, uh, a, a printing of base set that's rarely talked about. Normally you talk about Shadowless, you talk about first edition, um, but there's actually a fourth edition printing um, that while I was looking into this, I, I had never heard of this actually before today, um, that uh, it came out in the UK, I believe is the most common place where this came out. It might have come out in the United States and Canada, but a very limited run, uh, but, the, but the fourth printing of unlimited base set actually has 1999 I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this at all 1999 to 2000 as the date normally base set only has 1999 on it um, however this is 1999 to 2000 which makes this a slightly rarer version than standard unlimited 
and it does look like these do sell for maybe a few dollars more uh, because of that rarity, which is actually kind of interesting. Uh, and with CGC slabs, you can actually have them say that this is from the 2000s version of base set. So um, we actually lucked out there a little bit. Um, now, I didn't reflect that in the pricing of this um, because it's hard to find examples of these sold online. Um, for the fourth printing of uh, the UK version. Uh, but when I did see them, it was going for, you know, a few bucks higher than the uh, regular version. Um, but it's hard to get data on it. So I, I would say maybe, uh, you know, if we're lucky, we could get $20 more for PSA 10s of these um, on average, maybe. Uh, either way, for the card breakdown here, computer search was really weak. Uh, and now computer search here was, um, in fact, our rare card, and it's it's one of the uh, least expensive cards that we got in the pack. Forty bucks in a PSA 10, five bucks loose, um, which is kind of funny. Ponita was a hundred bucks in PSA 10, fifty bucks in PSA 9. Abra, fifty bucks PSA 9, PSA 10, ninety bucks. Uh, the Arcanine is uh, easily one of our best pulls, probably the best pull. Eighty bucks PSA 9. $200 PSA 10, um, Machoke, 45 bucks PSA 9, 90 bucks PSA 10, also not a bad card. Professor Oak, 70 bucks uh, PSA 10, 35 bucks PSA 9, um, Lightning Energy, 20 bucks PSA 9, uh, uh, 35 bucks PSA 10, and the Water Energy was like double that. Um, I'm not sure why people are buying energies graded like this, I guess to complete sets, but it, it was definitely interesting. Uh, the Onyx, I could not find any in PSA 9, um, but PSA 10, 110 bucks. The Gust of Wind, very cheap card, 20 bucks PSA 9, 25 bucks PSA 10. And the Drowsy, 45 bucks PSA 9, $100 PSA 10. So really the RK9 was the saving grace of this entire pack. Um, and we we did very poorly now if we get all psa 10s and of course i'm sending these to cgc so i would say that's about a 9.5 to 10 equivalent which isn't gonna happen we're gonna get eight and a halfs we're gonna get nines and we're gonna get nine and a halfs i would be surprised if we got a single 10 in all of these it's just so in unbelievably hard uh but if we somehow manage to get a 10 that would be unreal um but you know we're probably gonna see an average of between 9 and 10 uh, so I would average these two prices together if we get lucky and like the RK9 comes back a nine and a half um, and the computer search is one of the eight and a halfs th that's luck but uh, the RK9 could come back an eight and a half and then we're really done for so uh, the ability to profit off of this is is very based on the quality of the cards at this point um, if these are all really nice cards, and I will take out the Arcanine here and just examine it again, you know, it is good centering, pretty decent, um, and there is limited whitening, but there is a little bit of whitening, so I would personally probably give this a 9.5, um, definitely not a 10 worthy in CGC, but I could see it getting a 9.5 or a 9, um, but, you know, if these cards do come back in good grades, we could see the profit, we could see the profit, you know, um, by probably not a ton, not a large margin. If some miracle these all come back CGC 10s, instant profit, we're fine. Uh, but that's probably not going to happen. So it's going to be by the skin of the teeth if we do profit, um, and uh, that that is not very likely. I would say if you get these all graded, uh, you're bound to make more, mo more of your money back, and of course you have to take in into account the cost of grading all 11 of these cards. Uh, it's going to be about a hundred bucks, um, so you have to take that into account. So you're you're likely to maybe lose a little bit of money, or maybe scrape together a little bit of money, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, now, what I'm probably going to do with this is I will get these graded, but I get them graded um, first of all to complete slab um, sets. Uh, I'm trying to complete a base set slab set in CGC, uh, so I'll be doing that. Uh, so these are worth something to me, of course. And also in 10 years, mint cards are going to be even more rare than they are now. So, uh, you know, you get them slabbed now while they are in the mintiest condition they can possibly be in um, because they will only deteriorate from here. Uh, so get them graded now when they're mint. And then in the future, when mint cards are even more rare, these prices will likely go up. 
um, if the Pokemon hype stays. And Pokemon is a huge IP. I don't see Pokemon ever dying out. And there are so many diehard collectors out there like me um, that I never see Pokemon going away fully. I, I don't see it booming again unless we have another crazy Logan Paul situation, but I do see it steadily inclining. Um, there has been a bit of a dip recently in Pokemon value, but um, I, I do see it in the long term steadily inclining slowly but surely like the stock market things like that so I, I don't see this dying out I see them steadily inclining in value and then you know maybe in 10 years we make our money back off this pack but overall I would say if you're looking to just open a base set pack and flip the cards instantly you're gonna have to be praying for a starter uh, you know the Charizard the Blastoise the Venusaur in hollow you're gonna have to be praying for Pikachu's or War Turtles or you know, Squirtle, Bulbasaur, um, Charmander, you, you're gonna need a stacked pack, and you don't always get it, as is the case by this pack. Um, and we could have not even gotten this Arcanine. We could have gotten another worse uncommon, uh, and we would have been even worse off. We could have gotten a, another trainer instead of the Arcanine, uh, and there's like no way we profit off of this pack or make our money back. So, fair warning to you, uh, I'm sure most of you guys knew this going into the video, but it's still a fun little experiment to do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know if you'd like to see more of these. I want to do Jungle, I want to do Fossil, I want to do Team Rocket, I want to do every Wizard of the Coast. Mainly because I want to be able to say I have opened up one of every single Wizards of the Coast booster packs. Uh, that's a, a goal of mine in life. So uh, I'll, I'm doing this for myself, uh, but also because I think it makes for entertaining videos. Either way guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what your favorite pull that we saw in this video was um but either way in the future i will have a video going over um the cgc returns of these it's probably not going to be for a few months uh considering how long it takes for cgc to return cards now uh but eventually we will get to that video and i think it'll be a fun one either way guys i'll see you all in the next one peace i hope you guys enjoyed that video be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever i live stream or upload thanks so much